The Psychology of Money by Morgan Housel provides a unique perspective on personal finance and wealth. Rather than focusing solely on the technical aspect of money, Housel dives into the psychological, emotional, and behavioral aspects that influence our financial decisions. Here are five key takeaways from the book. Number one, wealth versus riches. One of the fundamental lessons in the book is understanding the difference between being rich and being wealthy. Richness is about showing off wealth, while wealth is what you don't see. It's the money saved and invested, spent on things that matter to you, providing financial freedom and security. Number two, he talks about luck and risk. Housel emphasizes that both luck and risk plays a significant role in our financial lives and are often underestimated. That luck can lead to success and risk can lead to failure, even when the effort and skill involved are the same. Acknowledging their influence can lead to more humility and caution in financial decision making. Number three it talks about compounding. The book stresses the, impo- the power of compounding, arguing that it's it, it isn't just about finance, but also about behavior, good or bad behavior, repeated over a long time, compounds its effects. It's the slow accumulation of wealth over time through patience and discipline that often leads to f- cruel financial security. Number four, emotions and money. Housel reminds us that our relationship with money isn't simply mathematical, but deeply emotional. Our personal history, upbringing, experiences, and unique desires shape our behavior towards money. Therefore, what works well for one person might not work as well for another. It's just number five, freedom. The ultimate goal of money, according to Housel, is to gain control over your time and enable you to live a life true to your values. Wealth is just the total, the tool that allows you is freedom. Money decisions should not be solely about increasing the amount in your bank account, but about enhancing your freedom and overall quality of life. The psychology of money impacts wisdom about finance that doesn't resolve around concrete formulas or equations, but pays attention to the human element, encouraging us to form a healthier and more productive relationship with money. Get this book. And you will never regret. Go out, check on Amazon or on any platform, but there's a link in the description that you can get and listen to this book. Go out and make a difference. I believe in you.